Hello guys, me Karin Tetsu, I cap Karin FF, and welcome to a new game that I'm going to do for my racing journey, and that is the World of Outlaws Sprint Car Racing. So, it took me a while to like upload these new videos that I'm doing since it was uh, out to the public last Tuesday, I believe, so yeah, I know... I should have done it the right place at the right time, despite my busy calling schedule. So, so pretty much I'm behind the eight balls, just trying to get views, comments, likes, and subscribers. That doesn't mean anything, but I kind of get less views when I do some racing games other than NASCAR races, you know, and I mean... Spring car racing is kind of my genre now, you know, <laughs> ever since Kyle Larson came into the sport and kind of transcended the dirt racing world, so, I mean, yeah, it's dirt racing, so, here I am, I'm just uh, doing some settings for my uh, caliper, you know, liking, because I'm still trying to get used to the controls and, you know, I don't want to spin all the time. In which you have to be loose all the time in the corners and build some upgrades and, well, that's what it'll take to fight to the top at World of Outlaws. So, this will be around 10 minutes, so I don't want to bore you with... All this uh, content I'm putting out there just to like, you know. <laughs> and I'm quite sure it's going to be another good journey ever since I got a hold of a, the game Tony Stewart Spring Car Racing in 2020. So, yeah, it's basically like copying paste, you know, like they add big block modifiers, they added stock, street stock, they added. Spring cars, so and that I added World of Outlaws. So mm. to be honest, I give it an eight out of ten because I played these games for a while now, and I I mean they try to make it entertaining and engaging for those that are new to the game, but for me doing it for two to three years ain't that bad at all, you know. So, I'll let you guys do your own business and just go ahead and watch the rest of the video if you want. So, I make you happy, car not Y'all have a great day. Peace out. Dirt track racing is rooted in local tracks all across America. Every successful driver has been a local hometown hero at some point, and then moved up to regional events and ultimately into the national level with the World of Outlaws. I think it's uh, really important at the local level to you know, build your fan base, interact with your fans, interact with the local community. 
um, you know, it's very important to, you know, be learning and, and try to become that hometown hero. Obviously, as you move into the regional level, uh, you got to earn respect. Uh, you got to win races outside of your hometown. Once you're at the national level, you have a lot more people relying on you. Uh, it becomes a lot more of a job. You know, you have to have a lot of mental toughness. Uh, it's a grind out here. It's easy to say that you want to go race with the outlaws, but when you pack your bag and you load your trailer with stuff and you head out on the road, um, it's like a beatdown. It's uh, probably one of the toughest things physically, mentally, financially, all of the above. And you get run down when you're a weekly racer or you can pick and choose. You get to go home if things aren't right. You hit the reset button. Uh, when you're outlaw tough, there's no reset button. There, there's When it starts, there's no stopping. My main mentors growing up through racing was my dad. You know, he was always there with me through go-karts and then you know as I got a little bit older I leaned on you know Casey Kane quite a bit. A sponsorship is obviously really important in racing. Um, I've been fortunate to have some great sponsors along the way. One key to, to running a successful race team is obviously the people that you have around you. It all starts with a great crew chief, great tire guys and you gotta have great marketing people to help pull it all together so it's important to have a great team around you. When you dream of being in this sport uh, as a child, you just dream about being a sprint car driver. And then when you become a sprint car driver, you dream of being an outlaw and you're racing with the, the greats that there are, the, the Steve Kinders, the Sammy Swindells. You never really can put to the ground the fact that maybe you're gonna be uh, in that position one day where you're one of those guys. Now it's your turn to take your shot. Your goal is to build up a solid reputation sign sponsorship, and continue to grow your organization, all while winning lots of races. But no matter what path you take in your career, your ultimate goal is to become a World of Outlaws Series champion. Good luck out there. We're all rooting for you.
So I'm coming to the end of my YouTube video right now, so give a thumbs up button if you like the video so much. Click on that bell button to subscribe for more content, and if you saw the recent video interesting, share the comment right below the description so you can share some thoughts and feelings with everybody in the community and make them feel welcome. So I make a happy Corona 95. You'll have a great day and peace out.